So you're wondering how I pick items to feature on this blog, huh? Well, let me take just a moment today to show you my process and perhaps some of the tips that I mentioned could help you to make your shop more friendly to bloggers like myself so that we will be able to feature you on our blogs and get you more publicity for your shop. First of all, I wanted to just give you a quick example today. I'm looking for polka dotted aprons to feature today on my blog. And so I've gone to Etsy, which is usually where I go to find items to feature on my blog. And I've typed in polka dot apron and I click search. And this is what I come up with here, 2,979 items. And on the front page here, I see all kinds of things in the gallery view. But I'm going to show you what draws my eye as a blogger and show you some tips that you might be able to use to improve your product photos as well. I'm scrolling down here and I see lots of great items. But as I move down through this page, I'm looking for something that catches my eye. And this one here catches my eye. I'll tell you why. First of all, it is angled, which is a little bit different. You usually see products straight on. And so it's neat to see that angled. I like that. And of course, I like the bright blue and yellow and the white polka dots really stands off. The background is, is simple. It does not distract from the item. In fact, it complements it really well. So that's something I'd like to take a closer look at. Now that I'm in the shop, I see some more great photos. I see some close-up photos here. And I'd love to see detail because I want to make sure that the products that I feature are actually going to be attractive to those who go to those links. And so this is a really attractive shot. I have another close-up here of the front of the item. Get a nice picture here of the feather attachment. And then again, back to that angled shot. I really like that. It draws my eye in and it's a little bit different from the normal shot that you see. Of course we have the straight shot here that you would expect, but I really like that angled shot. I'm going to take a quick peek at the front page of the shop just to see what kind of shop it is. And I see a great looking shop, very consistent with the backgrounds. And most of these are angled like this blue and yellow one. And I really like that. So I think I'm going to feature that shop. So let's look now at what the final product would look like on my blog. Here I am now on my blog and you'll see that I have featured this apron. I've taken two photos from the shop and pieced them together as one image. I gave a brief description along with a link and then I listed some things that the shop is doing right and I hope that will help other handmade sellers who might be reading my blog. But this is what it looks like from my search to the end product. And so if you're wanting to improve your shop and get it featured on blogs like On The Dot Creations, I'd encourage you to really work on your product photography, especially that photo that shows up in the gallery view because that's what I look for and that's what I see when I'm looking for items to feature. So I hope this has been a fun behind the scenes peek at how I do some of my blogging work and good luck to you as you improve your shop and hopefully get it featured on some blogs as well.